Hi, I'm Janae Meadows of JanaeMeadows.com. Today I'm going to show you how to use the gradient tool in Illustrator. Alrighty, so the gradient tool is a cool tool because you're going to be able to add some softness and some depth to like a boring black and white logo. And you know, it's all well and fine to color it normal, but if you can add a gradient effectively, you're just going to make that thing pop. So that's what we're going to do today. So here you see my logo, Janae Meadows. And it's black and white, pretty boring. Let's take it to the next level. So typically you would just, you know, click it and color it and there you go. But let's do something different here. Let's go up to window, then go down to gradient, bring that up. And you're just gonna see your gradient palette. And if you just click on, you got your choices here. You're gonna have a radial or a linear. Now a radial is gonna be like a sunburst of uh, color coming out and the linear is just going to be from right to left color. Now I'm going to show you what I mean here. So let's uh, click, see what we got. There you go, you can see I'm just going to get this guy back there. There's a little piece popping out that I don't like. I'll color him with a gradient too. Okay, so you can see it's just it's got a lot more depth to it. Let's grab a hold of these guys here too and let's color them as well. Give them a nice soft look. We just completely changed that logo. Now let's say we want it, we don't like the sunburst. Let's just go with it. Let's just click on that, select your, your object, go down to linear, and you can see it's gone now. The gradient goes from lightest to darkest. We could play with that even more. There we go. All right, so let's just go ahead and click that and let's make that a 45 degree angle. So you've got to see the number's 45 in there. Mm. Click that. To enter, boom, see it goes right there from light to dark. Now if you want to change that and make it from dark to light, all you got to do is go back to that 45, add a neg- ah. <laughs> what happened? Okay, I pulled up every single window in the world. Okay, um, let's go back to make that 45 again. So you just, uh, okay, so if you want to make that go from dark to light, all you got to do is go back into that 45. Let's hit the negative button, add that in there, and then just hit return. Oh, there you go, it goes from dark to light. It's pretty cool. You can swap that around with the reverse gradient too, so you can just do that all day. But I'm just going to show you the end result. Like you play with the gradient how you want to play with it. Just get out of here. Okay, so if you play with your green and you play with your colors and you take that, we took that black and white logo and now let's just get yourself a finished logo. This pops right out. Good job, me. <laughs> All right, so the gradient tool is a very powerful tool and I'm gonna say this, it can be used for evil because I see a lot of nasty gradients out there. Uh, uh, people's MySpace backgrounds in particular with the glitter graphics, don't do that. You can really go wild. And I'm going to show you how to go wild just so that you don't, you know what not to do here. Let's, you can so, okay, let me just go here. Let me select your object. Now you can see right here, I've got my light color, my medium color, and my dark color. Now let's say I want a little more light in there. If you drag, click and drag, Zoom in on that. You can actually just move these around to town all you want. I mean, look at this. If I bring, bring the dark color over on this side, and I can bring the light color up here, you can't really tell, but you can see what's happening here. If I brought him into the middle, now you got like a sunburst effect. But you can change those gradients to your liking. Let me get out of here. Okay. Let's say let's throw in some crazy pink. Oh boy, it's crazy. <laughs> let's throw in some green there. Oh, the psychedelic. We're on a psychedelic trip here. Throw some purple in and now you can see it's just out of control. We've just gone crazy with gradients. You can do that all day long. You can change that to linear. Throw some yellow in there. If you just, if you move that around, I mean, you can just, you play with it to how you want to play with it. 
and check in. You can also adjust the opacity of your gradient of just one of the colors. So like right now we have the pink. Let me get in there. So right now we let's select the pink. And if you go to, you can tell it's selected just barely by that little black pyramid being colored in. So you select that one and then you just click on your opacity. You can then take it and make it go away. Or you can make it kind of there. It's up to you. All right, so you see that the gradient tool adds a real depth of softness and grace to your logos. Now maybe you want to try out some other tutorials. Just check out the links here and if you want to see what I'm up to, go to JanaeMeadows.com.